This goes to the 28th, right? Six days and five hours. Let's take a look here. Focus supply, 21st. Okay. And expansion to the 21st, seven days. So this is, of course, again, a filler banner for the end of the patch. It is a filler banner. Uh, generally speaking, Bright Knight is no longer recommended because of how expensive it is to build her. In a lot of scenarios, you're going to want at least double S, which is kind of pricey. Uh, and in addition to that, you really won't be able to fully utilize Bright Knight without Abyss Flower. Now, Abyss Flower will appear on the same banner as Star of Eden next patch, but it is not a guaranteed weapon. It is uprate, but it is not the guarantee weapon on that banner. Star of Eden will be the guarantee on that banner. So you're gambling very, very recklessly. Or it's a it's a high risk uh, banner if you're only pulling on it for Abyss Flower. Okay, Dante banner with Alaire's Serenity. So Alaire's is no longer used by anybody. Not even Asuka wants Alaire's. If you're an Asuka player. <laughs> Aelidon did the testing. Alaire's is not even good on Asuka. Um, let's take a look at the other off rates in this banner. Dante TM is good, but Dante TM is also in the battle pass. If you're buying Knight or Paladin, you might have already acquired Dante TM from the battle pass. The B piece is good in solo fighting situations like Elysian Realm, or if you lack an external impair source like Hersher of Sentience. Hersher of Sentience would be also considered mandatory to play Bright Knight these days. So if you don't have Hersher of Sentience, you should not be rolling on any of these banners. Keys of the Void, outdated for Hersher of the Void, also appears in the Exchange Shop. Swan Lake also appears in this Exchange Shop. Hecate's Gloom, um, previously in a Battle Pass, also available in Exchange. Nuada's Grief, Available in exchange. Nebulous Duality. Available in exchange shop, but also on the next banner over. Alaire Serenity. Uh, not really used. Obscuring Wing. Probably the most useful thing in addition to Nebulous Duality. So Nebulous Duality and Obscuring Wing are probably the most useful things here. And then for B tier would be Hecate, uh, Nuadas, and Swan Lake. A, a lot of these are all old meta. Ne Nebulous and Obscuring Wing, the only current meta stuff from this weapons list. Okay, Dante, you know, available in Battle Pass. It's not... Dante TM is nice to have, but not really... Not really that urgent if you're not building Bright Knight. If you already have Bright Knight, Dante TM could be considered a viable option if you're going for rank-ups from Battle Pass. Again, risky and only makes sense if you're consistently topping up. If you're not trying to be consistently topping up to the extent that you would need to to secure these pieces of gear, I don't recommend it. So if you're free to play, you know, monthly battle pass, I, I would recommend against pulling on this banner. Fuwa Margrave, it was in multiple previous battle passes. It's craftable, even though the time horizon is long. It's also available in the next banner over. I don't recommend pulling on this banner just to try to snipe off rates. That's never a great idea. However, Turgenev is in the off rates. Turgenev is highly valuable, but Turgenev is also in Battle Pass. So if you can avoid being tempted to pull on this banner for the sake of Turgenev, which again, I don't recommend ever pulling on a banner just to try to snipe off rates. It's highly risky. The risk assessment is very high. Catastrophic. Uh, Goemon is craftable. Elysia is craftable, al although it's a long time horizon. This is, this is a, a banner to avoid, all right? It's a filler banner. It's a bait banner. All the important things from these banners, from this banner that are uprate and or mostly useful can either be obtained from another source or it's in Battle Pass. I, I So Focus A, that's a, that's a no-go from me. <laughs> yeah. They do save time, that's true. If you if you are averse to farming, 
and you have the money to spend, it's a it might be an attractive option, but again, that's high risk and you are you are basically gambling if you do that. Generally, as a player, you want to avoid spending crystals on what is farmable. Okay, let's take a look at Focus B. Focus B... <sighs> this is probably more valuable than Focus A. That being said, Nebulous Duality does exist in the Exchange Shop, and Margrave not only... I'm pretty sure Margrave is also an Exchange, even though it's also craftable. Let's see, Blood Dance... It's nice if you can get it from an off-rate, but again, you never pull on these banners for the off-rate, and it's old meta. So it's not something that you go out of your way for. Surtur is cool for collection, but it's also show up in Exchange Shop. Basilisk's image, that's kind of a rare... Basilisk is kind of a rare... No, Basilisk is uh, IO's cross. Okay, that's modern meta. <laughs> I got confused. I'm so used to just seeing... Uh, the other name, the prior arm name for it. So Basilisk is more modern, but again, you don't go out of your way for this stuff. 11th shows up in Exchange and also Old Meta. Not really useful. And then the few situations where you would need it, there are other alternatives. Uh, Nebulous Duality, again, it's nice if you can get it, but I prefer that you get it elsewhere. Iris is good, but I think most new players get Iris for free. And then, of course, Starlance. It's nice when you get it from an off-rate. Okay, let's look, look, take a look at the, the gear. Okay, this is kind of cruel. Uh, they put Raven's gear as an off-rate on this banner, but they put Raven's weapon as an off-rate on the other banner. Who designed this banner? This is one of the... This is a terrible banner. Anashariak, farmable. Dickens... I th not really it was in a previous battle pass but it's not really used um there are plenty of viable alternatives for fervent tempo so you don't really need to craft dickens most cases you either use kafka if you have kafka left over from the old days or you have elysia top and bottom Edgar Allan Poe, also craftable and very specifically for Stygian Nymph so if you don't have Stygian Nymph this is not going to be that useful for you and then of course oslog nice to have but prefer that you get it from off rate on a more modern banner that you can get more use out of the stuff so again trash filler banner just just don't pull just save for next patch we're, we're almost we're almost to the next patch maybe a week and a half left right a week and a half so next week and then the 26th should be the patch day. 20, end of night of 26th, morning of 27th. Is weapon exchange viable for F2P? That's a great question, Feyren. It's viable if the F2P player gets really unlucky, which is also a, a situation you don't want to be in. And Kugel brings up a good point. A lot of times, if you're free to play, all of those dupes are probably going to go for Taurus. So Reaper brings up a really good uh, point. The cheapest weapon to farm if you're farming for weapon resonators is Third Sacred Relic. That being said, that's very costly. You are trading a lot of ether fuel just for resonators yeah i i think that would be great if they added a wet source for weapon like passive weekly weapon resonator income put it on the survey for next time anyways that covers the the banners for this week uh avoid at all cost just save save on to your crystals next next patch just just save it for next patch Again, most most ex veteran players, most players that have been playing for a year are kind of used to seeing these end of patch filler banners, but we get new players all the time. So in the meantime, you know, we'll just 
We'll keep making these banner reviews and explaining why these are banners to avoid. Now, again, if you're a, if you're a whale player, you know, dolphin or whale, if you're willing to put down 100 to $200 into the game, you know, or 200 to $400 a month into this game, Maybe if you're in the 250 to 400 range, you can you can afford to use these banners to spike up your your uh, account, but that's that's very brute force. That's very inefficient. So again, even if you're a whale, I, I don't recommend it. I think it's probably in your better interest to stock up on bundles at the beginning of next patch and putting those into the banners next patch because there's probably going to be banners with more modern gear with other modern gear in the off rates um i'm pretty sure all the beta beta testers and the the beta news coverage folks and the uh the cn players have already published those off rates so they're all the information is out there if you just look for it All right, that's, that's about it. 